yo what up youtube all right so uh firstly apologies if you hear any noise um it's currently raining outside and there's a lot of thunder um but if you do hear it apologies for the noise um so in any case um i forgot i, I made a mistake in the previous video i actually forgot um we created our database but didn't create the tables that we're gonna need to store number one the users accounts and the notes themselves all right so um we were supposed to be testing within this video but i think it's not a train smash it's not going to be a long video we mainly need two tables um so we can quickly create those tables within this video and then do the testing within the uh within the next one hopefully i didn't forget anything else after this video so let's quickly do that so i want to come into this static folder here and create a package so i'm basically just going to create uh the script uh within this package or this directory um, so that when I do upload this on github you do have it available as well um, I don't want to create it separately so let me just call this uh, db scripts and then within there I'll just create our our, our SQL file so I'll just call it main.sql alright uh, let me dismiss this Right, the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, use so remember we already created the database I think probably within uh, when we created when we were setting up the project it should be either the second or third video but um, the database name is my notes and then I believe it's underscore v1 actually it should be yeah it should be this one so this is the database that we created uh, a few videos back so I'm gonna copy this name just make sure that it's the same one as this one all right so again we are using mysql so the syntax that we're going to use here is mysql so don't get it confused with sql server related stuff so here i'm just going to say create uh, users sorry let me just say users uh, table structure And then here we can say create uh, table users. All right. So let's just quickly look at our model. So we need the user ID, first name, last name, email, password, created at, and updated at. So let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, ta uh, seven columns. So let's quickly do that. So I'll say um, user ID int not null um, and then obviously auto increment right and then this one is gonna be first name right Which this one is gonna be varcha 50 again not null then I'm just gonna copy this because the last name is gonna be the same thing actually I can do this yeah so this one will be last name also vacha 50 this one will be email uh, this should be 255 and then this one should be unique you don't want people registering with the same email address and then the next one should be password This is also going to be two five varchar 255. Um, then we need created at which is going to be let's say timestamp, um, and then the updated at should be uh, let's just say date time, all right, and then obviously the primary key. ID all right I think that should be it for the uh, users table so let me see one two three four five six seven all right so now we're gonna create the notes table all right All 
right so the notes table is gonna have a few things it's gonna have obviously the the note ID the users ID I think if I'm not mistaken it's the title the body and obviously the updated it and created it let me just be sure with the previous one that I did hold on yeah so it's about just let me see one two three four five six seven also seven columns all right so let's say notes um, notes ID int not now uh, auto increment as well and then this is going to be the user ID int also not now and then obviously that one is going to be the foreign key right so and then we're gonna have uh, let me paste what we did the last time so it's gonna be the title um, is it is it the title yeah title and then the next one is also going to be body um, let me see I think this should be let's just say 255 and then we're gonna have the exact same things that we have up here so it's the created and updated it and primary key Right. So let me see. Okay. So it's seven. Sorry, it's six columns, not seven. All right. Let's not forget the foreign key. Right. Uh, we'll just say F K. No, it's gonna be my mistake here. It's note ID as the primary key, and then the foreign key is the user ID. All right. References. Uh, users and then the user ID column on delete cascade all right I think that should be it so you see fairly simple so I'm gonna copy this as it is then I'm gonna so remember I'm using XAMPP so if you don't have XAMPP um, just I'll pr I'll leave a video a link in the description on, on how to install XAMPP but I'm using XAMPP and then all I did was obviously start my server using XAMPP over here and then also my SQL database and then you just have to click admin or admin under the my SQL um, category click admin and then it should open XAMPP all right so this is my where my database is at the moment and then all I have to do is come here and then paste uh, what we just um, paste what we just copied here I don't know why it's doing that but in any case let's just paste so so far it doesn't look there are any errors I hope everything is in order let's run it and see if there's no issues okay so it's running now so if I show the so if I click here and refresh there should be two tables so there's notes and then there's users last thing we need to do is come back into the application here and then let's just remember to create the model for notes so it's gonna be uh, notes right and then we're gonna basically do the exact same uh, things that we did in here I might as well just copy this we'll clean it up just now right uh, let me close all of this users Let's close the author let's come to notes right and then we can paste this in here now obviously we have to delete all these other things that we have here right okay um, we have to put semicolons and then obviously we have to say private and then int that's gonna be notes and then private and then int that's gonna be user ID private and then obviously this one is gonna be string uh, same here private string and then here we're gonna use private local uh, date time same thing there 
private local date time easy peasy all right uh, let me do this all right so remember this is going to be a table so you have to annotate it as uh, entity and then we're going to say add table and then so we're going to say um, name is going to equal to uh, notes so the name is going to be why is that giving an error sorry notes All right so exactly as this name here right so what else do we need yeah we need to annotate the um, id so this has to be annotated as the id um, and then let's just create the getters and setters select all of them click ok and then that should be fine all right then let's also just create the repository so that we don't the repository and the service for the notes so that we don't forget so let's say okay it's gonna be an interface we're gonna say note repository and then extends uh, I'm gonna say crud repository then obviously the note uh, model that we just created is gonna be the one and then we're gonna say integer so we have to say integer here because that's what we are returning here all right so let's annotate this um, as a repository okay cool all right so let's create the service right right now we don't have to create the methods for now we'll create that I think during the testing phase um, for now let's just go to the service uh, package here and then create the uh, note service class right and then we want to annotate as service All right and then let's auto wire and then we're gonna say uh, private uh, note repository right okay I think that should be it um, the database is fine um, it didn't create we didn't get any errors uh, obviously we will see if there's any issues uh, hopefully within the next video um, but I think I should end it here um, so this is was this was it for the um, creating the database and our node um, repository interface and node model along with the service class and then also basically the setup of the database again like I said it's not complicated it's just these two this is for when the user logs in uh, or storing the user account and then obviously this is where we're gonna store our notes alright guys so that's it for the video again hopefully I've, I've now remembered everything and hopefully within the next video all we have to do is just start testing alright thanks again for watching guys and then again don't forget to share and uh, like and subscribe um, see you in the next video alright cheers for now